I've never brought this up and like everyone around me has been like, how can you still want to be friends with her when she sold so many stories on you? I feel like you deliberately went out your way to make me look like a shitty person and fuck Megan, fuck the backlash that she's had before from Love Island. About? Hey, I'm Megan Button Hansen, and you might know me from Love Island. I obviously saw Demi on Tawi, knew that she was bisexual. You like girls, yeah? Yeah, I mean, there is double competition for you, Sam, at the moment, isn't there? Of course, I had heard of Megan before. I first met Megan when we both done a show together, and it was actually a dating show. It was like so many headlines, every move that we made, it would make the, like, the papers. I was overwhelmed with like the cameras and I think that whole dynamic was really daunting after the first relationship I had publicly broke down. I think I gave Megan a bit too much trust and in the end she ended up burning me and talking to someone else behind my back. I'd never met Demi before filming and I was just really worried whether her intentions were like, is it just for the cameras, is it just because it's convenience or does she actually like me as a person? I have no idea what she's going to ask me. I gave her my all, so what could she possibly ask me? Hi, you all right? Hi. I won't hug you, because <laughs> it's you like an lovely. air hug. <laughs> you too. Thank you. I'm walking in, I see Demi. I'm loving the long hair, she looks great, but I'm petrified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I literally don't even know what to say to you. It's just yeah. that weird, isn't it? She looks exactly the same. Like, I literally feel like I've gone back in time a year ago. Why oh, is that on you. top of your food? It looks like something out of Willy Wonka. I oh, know. <laughs> what is this? Oh my, oh, my God. That was so cute. That is so cool. Like a little puff of smoke. Yeah. Should we read my question now? Yeah, well. Was it real love or just reality TV? I remember you having that worry in your head and like, I remember trying to reassure you and being like, Meg, I promise you, like, my feelings are all real. I feel like you broke up with me the day after we finished filming. So, uh, like, that really, really got to my head. I didn't really expect to meet anyone from, like, Celebs Go Dating. I thought I'd have a few dates, mm. I'd test water and see, but I didn't expect anything to come from it. And then I really liked you, and I remember as soon as you walked in, I went bright red. Like, that's not something you yeah. can fake. If I wasn't really into you at that point, I don't think you would go bright red and be really, like, embarrassed and geeky in front of someone you didn't yeah. find attractive. Thank you. Did you cheat? I didn't cheat. You sure? A thousand percent. Like, that's one thing I can proudly say I've never done. I've never cheated on anyone I've been with. Okay. Megan broke up with me and she moved on very, very quickly. And I think it's obvious there was an overlap. So you didn't meet up with that girl behind my back? I met up with her very quickly after. Yeah. But not during. If I could like press a pause button and have met her six months down the line, I would have, but I met her then, we mm. had an instant connection and it just happened. Okay. Of course that's taken like a weight off my shoulders now that she's not cheated. And yeah, it's just made me feel a lot better that she hasn't now. Why did you sell a story on me? Are you joking? <laughs> Please elaborate what story I sold on you. The one where you said I made you doubt if you liked girls and that you wasn't sexually attracted to me, which fair enough, all right, maybe you wasn't, maybe I did make you doubt that, but like, it was embarrassing for me, that story. I'd had an interview and I said to the journalist, I doubted my sexuality on that show. I felt like it made me question whether I was bisexual because I didn't really fancy many girls on that show. Mm -hmm. Whether we knew each other for three months, five months, whatever, a year, I would never sell a story on anyone. I have bit my tongue about this for so long. I've never brought this up and like everyone around me has been like, how can you still want to be friends with her when she sold so many stories on you? I did never sell a story. I never got money for anything that I'd done. It was always, if I, if I went out to an event, it'd always be that like, journalist and they'd say to me, what happened? And at the time, yeah, all right, I was bitter. So yeah, I did let it all out. I feel like you deliberately went out your way to make me look like a shitty person and fuck Megan, fuck the backlash that she's had before what from Love Island. About? I am very new to this, like, I, you've done it for longer than me, or at my family been in this, like, TV world, but I haven't personally. But I feel like that's a bit of a cop-out, like... It's not a cop-out. Whether you're an open person or not, you know that they're going to run that in your favour. You're your own person. I'm my own person. We don't need each other to keep cropping up in stories. Oh, glad that conversation's ended. What does the future hold for us? 
hopefully we can just like move on, mm -hmm. leave the past in the past and just be civil. I am glad I ate with my ex. I haven't agreed with everything she said. It's kind of made me a little bit angry in places, but I think we can leave this and move on in a good place. I feel like now I've got more of an understanding of what happened. The future for me and Megan is if I see her out, I say hello, but I don't think we're going to be best mates. Alright, babe. All right. See you later. All right, see you later, Meg. <laughs> I'm just going to go and have a laugh now. That was too tense for me. 